And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Den Mother Frostbite. We are going to be trying out a brand new Freljord card that just came out with the latest expansion, Rhymefang Den Mother. Looks pretty sweet. It's a six mana five five. When I'm summoned, you summon a Rhymefang pack and also grant that Rhymefang pack plus one plus one for each time that you have frostbitten enemies this game. So there you go. So it's a one one. It's usually a one one overwhelm, but it gets that plus one plus one for each time we frostbitten stuff. So if we frostbitten things four times during the game, now you get a five five overwhelm. So you'd get a regular five five and a five five overwhelm. That could be pretty cool. So we're gonna be trying that card out. Uh, we're gonna be playing it with uh, obviously with Ash because you know we're gonna be frostbiting a bunch of stuff. But then LeBlanc for our other champion. Thinking here is that if we level up LeBlanc, we're creating mirror images. Mirror image could be pretty awesome with that Rhyme Fang Den Mother, that ephemeral copy of an ally with five plus power. Because then you, you copy the Den Mother and then you get a new pack for good, even though the Den Mother would be ephemeral. Thought that could be a really cool combo. So we're going to try LeBlanc Ash with that. Since I'm playing the Den Mother, then I want to play the Rhyme Tusk Shaman uh, because then we get to Frostbite every single round, round start, and that should just add up a lot of Frostbites for the Rhyme Fang pack. So I thought that those would be a good combination. But then since we're playing, you know, this Den Mother at six, this Shaman at five, it's pretty tough to play like your Hearth Guard, Trifarian Assessor, and all that kind of stuff as well. Um, so just going to have those for our top end instead of trying that other stuff. And so since since no like Assessors, uh, we're, we are going to be playing Whisper Words for our card draw, but then also like one Captain Farron, just one really powerful thing at the top end to try to finish out games. Uh, in, in you know times that we need it because Captain Farron can do that. It's a really good card. Also, Captain Farron with uh, Mirror Image also sounds pretty awesome. So we're going to play one of those at the top end. Besides that, we're going to have Rhyme Fang Wolf because we're doing lots of Frostbiting, and I think challenging is just really important right now with these different Spell Shield units. So we'll have Wolf and Glory Seeker doing some challenging. Iceville Archer, Frostbiting. We'll have our Omen Hawks. And that's kind of about it. Then a bunch of Frostbite. Also playing Culling Strikes again. Uh, Culling Strikes not amazing in the meta right before this new expansion, but this new expansion does have Viego. Viego's really hard to kill, and I think that maybe combining some Frostbite with Culling Strike could be our way to kill Viego's. So we're going to go ahead and put Culling Strikes back in the deck, and let's try this out. We got Brittle Steel, Three Sisters, Flash Freeze, all of those for frostbiting. So here we go. This is Den Mother Frostbite. We'll go play five games in ranked. Irelia Azir. Brittle Steel could be pretty good in this matchup. Just some frostbite in general, I guess. Yeah, and I'll just keep I'll just keep the two mana cards. Um, they'll just kind of trade with other stuff, right? You like against Really, Zero's an aggro deck against aggro. We want to uh, trade things. And they are Frostbite cards, so they will help the Den Mother. What do you call that technique? Not and ready. The desert by my side. I was hoping that we would be able to trade with the sparring student. But that was not the case. Time to make an I think LeBlanc wants to show up here. I don't I don't know though, but that's what it feels like. Okay, one out of four for reputation. A true leader marches beside her people. So honorable. So naive. Are you certain? Glorious sacrifice. A chill in the air. Sand and blood. So we're at ten right now. That's 11. Oh, 
I didn't fall for my trick of like attacking with Aurelia. My move. Dissident. All right, cool. Get to level up with Blanc. That's good. I am everyone. Could really use Ryan Fang Den Mother or. If you fall, I will. Tell the people what hmm. you have seen today. This would be a good reckoning matchup. We don't have reckoning though, but calling strike would be nice. It's something to take out that Azir. Wasted effort. All right, I'm just gonna let it happen and play a new LeBlanc instead of spending four mana on it, because yeah, because then that's also gonna level up my reputation. Or I guess I could brittle steel. Yeah, that's not bad. Because I'm definitely all right. So we're definitely killing Aurelia this round, right? Like that's gonna happen. Okay, we're we're getting there. Den mother. The Yordle here with me. I've only frostbitten things three frostbitten things three times so far. Bring me the call. I'm gonna play the shaman and round start frostbite. Gross. Well, that is not good. Okay, cool. I do get the mirror image. Awesome. Oh, I should block with the 3-1 instead of the 2-2, two, two, I guess, because then the 2-2 two, two does a better job blocking other stuff. Okay. So, do I need to just play Den Mother just to get more blockers out right now? Let's see. I could go Ash, Glory Seeker, and another Ash. Please, no homecoming. Hooray! No backing down. Oh, man. Well, wait. Oh, they could have just killed me. They didn't. Alright, well, I guess I shouldn't complain too much. Victory requires a sharp blade. Show me a target. For glory, face me. I guess I'm still dead right now, though, aren't I? Yeah, I guess I'm still dead. Man, good last card. I guess I need to. I wanted to play other stuff first before the dead mother, but I guess I need to get this dead mother out. This round, I should have Den Mother to then copy Den Mother, and I would have had enough blockers. Calling strike. I wish that. I wish that didn't mean that we were still dead, but we're still dead. It's too bad. <laughs> sure, why not? I was already dead. All right, so I went greedy mode. I'm in greedy mode of, um, um, 
you know, trying to get other stuff, you know, try to get the ashes in play and everything like that, and before playing the Den Mother, need to play Den Mother. Okay, Thresh Viego. We'll send you back, and I guess send Whisper Words back, but I don't know. I feel like this is going to be like a longer game where I'm going to really need that Whisper Words later on. Both of those cards are cards you need later on. But that's later. We'll worry about that later. We'll try to start uh, somewhat ahead. Yeah, I was way too greedy that last game. Should have got the should have got the Den Mother in play and copied it. And gotten lots of blockers. I think I'd do that, I'd probably win that game. I thought I was safe. It's not very likely that whatever I whenever I play Glory Seeker, whatever blocker they play on round two that I'm gonna want to trade. I guess I'll only miss out on one point of damage though by waiting, but I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna have Troll Chant so they don't Vile Feast my Glory Seeker. I would have much rather had the Draw 2 and the Den Mother in hand over these these three sisters. Is this Merciless Hunter? Baiting Icon. I don't really like my hand. Really wish I would have kept whisper words. Victory requires a sharp blade. Diego and Fresh. Fly from the first lands. Sharpen the blade, secure the kill. I'll cut them apart. You are mine. Be good. Okay, so we are going to flash freeze plus culling and kill the Viego so they don't get the encroaching mess. I want to culling the curse keeper to keep them from drawing two cards. Or... We entomb the Curse Keeper from keep them from drawing two cards and keep them from killing anything. So we'll go with that one. So they're willing to have those die... to get the Encroaching Mist. Okay. I don't want Vile Feast to like mess up my Rhymefang Wolf. And so that, that attack kind of felt like saying that they had Vile Feast. That's what it felt like. Forever. 
Really wish I would have kept whispered words. Submission or death for all who leave. A shield in the air. My heart. Alright, we've taken out a couple of Viegos. That's a good sign. Gotta find a gift for an action. Right, Arda. We haven't found our own champion yet. Yeah, they got three champions. That's not fair, getting three champions. Go Fury. Fury, kill that. Stay back. Block there. All right. All right. So we're left with two Rhyme Fang Wolves and a Rhyme Tusk Shaman, and they are left with four two and a two two. Sends chills up my spine. There is no shelter. I guess I just do this. All right, so just about the worst top deck we could have. <laughs> a brittle steel. Come on, whisper words. Flash freeze. It's better than a brittle steel. Shaman having vulnerable. No place for men. I think I'll just let that die. You know, this thing's vulnerable. Keep the frostbite around. The frost reveals all to me. Hey, a champion! Places to go, people to be. Them. All right, cool. Eleven out of fifteen. <laughs> still got play. Still got to pay at full of price. Oh no, I don't like that. I don't like that. They will be able to challenge the Shaman. Ooh, not playing it. Den Mother! Let's go! Whoa! Alright, so you're at 11. So you level yourself up, and then that, that, that. I guess the 5-5 five five should be, this 5-5 five five should be first, because then the LeBlanc is 6. Alright, Dead Mother! There we go, those are, I mean, we won that game because of the Wolves. The Wolves just controlled that board and just, you know, killing Viegos and everything like that. Yeah, Three Sisters was really big, right? Because we got to entomb the 1-1s, one -ones. They don't, so they don't draw cards, they don't get the Viego bonus, like anything like that. And then we got the Fury of the North. So having those instead of just having random Frostbite cards was a huge deal. Okay, so Karma Ezreal, that, this is a deck that's like killing all of our stuff. So like the the Flash Freeze isn't as, as good. So really, honestly, these cards are just not very good. This is going to be a really difficult matchup for us because we need... We need threats that stay alive. This is the kind of matchup where you really want Avaros and Hearthguard and Avaros and Trapper and uh, and things like that. Like our version is gonna be pretty bad in this matchup. You you want like a lot of health, right? You want all the size and you want the card draw. So you want Assessor and everything like that. So this is going to be a, a not a very good version for this matchup. So not, I don't think we have too much chance of winning this game. 
I think normally, like a normal Frostbite deck, I think you can have a, a pretty good chance. But not our version. Our version's really about all the, the different quick attack decks and the combat decks. Like any of my plays. I'm gonna pass, get some more mana. Alright, Den Mother is good. It's like our best threat that we have. The dark beckons. The best lies are beautiful. Yeah, we're gonna die. It's really tough to play two one health things at the same time because of static shock. Obviously, they're playing just, like, three Static Shocks. All the world on one arrow. Yeah, like I said, I can't imagine this is going to go well for us. All right, but that's two for the Den Mother. The order rewards its faithful. Victory requires a sharp blade. What is gained when you return malevolence? Hmm. I will play my part. Down to ten. Is really good. Bring me the calm of an ice shrouded world. I need just a moment. The frost reveals all to me. Glory. Pretty surprised they didn't play two spells last round. to get Draglings. I'm really, really surprised that, you know, they, they played the one spell. Really surprised they didn't play any other spell, and they just played the six mana card. So we're going to try to punish them for that. They had all these cards, like, obviously they could have played any other spell for some Draglings, so... Right now, none of those things can block. Alright, still going to recall those two. All right, that's it. Wow. We did not have any business winning this game at all. They just play a spell, get Draglings, like, instead of playing that six mana card. Okay, good job, Ash. Hey, Goon, what are you what are you looking for with the Viego command? All right, so we got Trundle, Trindamir with Targon. So maybe like the five mana Targon thing. Um, this card's gone. Okay, so I don't want things that die to Avalanche, but I want to have fast attackers also. I don't want to die to Avalanche. Is 
And then also, Goon, up on YouTube is the Merciless Viego we played yesterday. That video is up on YouTube if you want to watch the uh, gameplay. It's up there. Sharpen the blade, secure the kill. Nothing mm. escapes my Not sentry. Good blocker. That Avaro's in sentry. All the world on one arrow. Just like our last opponent, this looks to be another opponent that's playing a deck with a lot of removal, right? Like probably avalanches and stuff like that. And again, we don't have a lot of health, so we're, we're not great against avalanches and just removal spells in general. Yep. So I didn't play another Glory Seeker last round. Could just be put ever as a sentry into play. That's a good moon weapon. All right, got some den mothers. I am planning on playing the Omen Hawk this round. Guide our allies, my friend. How about another round? Assuming they're gonna kill my stuff with avalanche anyway. No, I just skip. That three damage probably doesn't matter that much. Ooh, I like that card. As the arrow flies. Let's talk about your dad. All right, got a free frostbite in. Den mother up to two. At least I didn't give them a better avalanche than that. Victory requires a sharp blade. King of Trolls coming through. Winter is the Freljord's true ruler. I'll knock him dead. Ice shard. So keep them from leveling up, Trundle. I don't know, I feel like that could be important. Could also be wrong, though. Could, that could also not be important. Oh, they got the double stun. Again, just don't want to give them too good of a avalanche. What could be better? Mm. Got five cards left. Places to go. To be. I don't know. I don't know if I should be playing this LeBlanc or anything or just passing again. Smashing. Let's take this outside. One smack will do. This is gonna be fun. Question is, do you think Tavern Keeper serves a good beer? I bet it's ice cold. And you know that it comes with a friendly welcome. So I would say yes. 
see the Demacian border from here. A good scene on this one. Send chills up my spine. Get ready for a whisper words. All right, we got the pack. Our first Rhyme Fang pack. Who would face me? Uh, not me. No, thank you. Okay. So you're gonna challenge you. You now we'll level you LeBlanc up. And I'm just gonna sit back. You don't want to, um, the, the Rhyme Fang Wolf doesn't work that well against Trindamir if it's zero power, because if you, if it's zero power and then you have your Wolf kill the Trindamir, then the Trindamir will level up and, like, do nine damage. Oh man, that thing's tough and everything too afterwards, forget, forget about that. Alright, so got rid of those Ice Pillars. Frostbite that thing right away. So those ice pillars were making like my rhyme touch shamans vulnerable, and I didn't like them. Okay, so we know they're they're probably going to be wanting to do you know like avalanches and all that kind of stuff. So they just want to attack. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use this brittle steel, and then that will level that up. Man, I kind of want to. I guess I do it this way. Does three damage to the pack. That's fine. I want to keep this thing alive, right? Because we want to mirror image that thing. Or be able to have that opportunity. But yep, here come the avalanches. So we'll start killing everything. Now that we know that they'll never yield. Let's get another frostbite first. All right, I think we got him. Boom. All right, three and one. Just nice and patient. I, I didn't like you know let them get too much good avalanche or blighter ravine value. Yeah, feel the rush is a really cool finisher. Okay, so is that karma or thrash? I think that's thrash, right? Yeah, so Viego Thresh, so they're using Ionia as the splash region, probably for twin disciplines. Eye of the Dragon, Eye of the Dragon is really good. Alright, so I guess I'm going to get rid of these. We'll keep calling Strike to kill Eye of the Dragon or Thresh. Ash, good. Hello. Dark Tsunami. Hope you're having a good day. Okay, big hit. Down to 12. Save our three spell mana. For protection for the Ash.
So I did just... Um... Probably unnecessarily, but I, I did just... I just played this Ash over here. I should have played the other Ash, because I played this one that doesn't have a buff spell so that so they can deduce that this card right here is going to be a unit that or the you know that's the plus two the plus one plus one because it's i've only drawn three cards since then i don't think i want them to draw two do I keep this? Maybe I keep it. No. Draw two. So I'm not. Okay, sure. All right, so I'm not incredibly scared of Viego or Thresh with having these different flash freezes and everything. Very good miss call. Get another encroaching mist. Calling on it. That's number two. All right, let's go for the Ash Kill. So we're gonna have, we have two Frostbites so far. That's three. That is four. And now Ash attacking is five. And therefore level up. They can't block. I have um, both full chance available also for health protection from like Withering Whale and stuff, but it'd just be nice if they don't have Withering Whale and just to kind of take all this. Yeah, because I guess one Withering Whale isn't going to really do it anyway. They have to have Withering Whale plus something else. So, like some Vengeance and stuff. Now begins a new era of peace. GG's. And there we go. That was Den Mother Frostbite. So, you know, really good showing there. Four and one. We kind of stole that game against Ezreal Karma, which we kind of had no business winning. But uh, that I'll take it. I usually lose a lot of games that I deserve to win. Oh, I guess deserves got nothing to do with it. That I should win if I played differently or played better, but, um, you know, we'll, we'll take it, because, yeah, I don't, shouldn't say deserve. Deserve's got nothing to do with it. If you know that quote, you are a cowboy. All right, anyway, yeah, so that Ramfang Denweather, um, pretty cool card. We didn't get to, I didn't get to show it off a ton, but we did get to see it that game four, and uh, it looked really good there, like, with, you know, with the Rhyme Touch Shaman in the long game. Uh, that was really cool of getting the, the really big Ramfang pack. I think this card's really good. I think it has some good potential. I, I, my one loss was against Aurelia Zier, and I think that definitely could have been a win if I would have played my Den Mother. And then you know, I, I had, a, I had the ability to win that game against Aurelia Azir. We could have been 5-0 if I, you know, that very first one that we lost. If I would have played it, mirror imaged it. I was, I was, it was a new card. I was too greedy. I thought I could survive, and I thought that I had enough with the Ash, and that I didn't need to like go wide. And I thought I could, you know, wait a little bit and get even larger, you know, get larger Rhyme Ping packs. But you know, sometimes you just gotta gotta go wide and gotta you know gotta stay alive. So it really could have been a five zero if I would have done that. But then to be honest, I probably should have won the uh, really or the uh, Ezreal Karma. So they, it you know evens out. Anyway, Cooling Strike looked pretty good. All the Frostbite was awesome, right? Like the metagame is so much about attacking right now. It's so much about attacking and blocking and not as much about removal spells. And that's the thing, our deck's not gonna be very good against removal spells. You know, one health, one health, two health, three health, two health, right? Like we are not good, three health. We are not good against removal spells, no beef. But uh, against attacking and blocking, we have all these different frostbite spells that own up. Troll Chant is amazing in combat. And uh, yeah, so all that, and then the different challengers, all that was really good. And even Culling Strike did its thing, like with this different frostbite, it was very good against Viego and other decks like that so cool 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 that's gonna be den mother frostbite so those y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there and feel free to leave those comments and let me know uh how you like the new rhyme fang den mother all right thank you so much for watching
and I'll see you for the next video.